So a lot of people have asked or seemed surprised that I have been so critical of the Rings of Power when I started out so optimistic. Uh, which I guess I can understand. Um, in this day and age, everything seems to be part of the pop culture wars or politicized in some way to the point where you... You aren't supposed to change your mind. You aren't supposed to change sides. You, you're supposed to, uh, you know, dig in and double down and all those other things. Um, I had one person on Twitter accuse me of being a paid shill because I liked the show at first and then didn't later. I'm pretty sure if Amazon was going to pay me, they would have it in their contract that I couldn't start writing articles like... Uh, the Rings of Power has an in, has inexplicably terrible writing, or Gladriel problem, or is a, is making a mockery of Tolkien's work. Like, I'm pretty sure uh, that if 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 they were going to go the paid shill route with with people, they would they'd lock them in for the season at least. Um, frankly, I could have made a lot more money if I had jumped on the hate bandwagon for this show right off the beginning. Um, that's where the money's at for sure. Uh, the a lot of people, you know, so one of the things that kind of annoyed me going into this show, I had low expectations, but I, I, anyone who's watched my videos or read my work for any length of time knows that I'm sort of an eternal optimist, much to my own <laughs> uh, dismay, much of the time, I should probably become more cynical, but I feel like this world is so cynical that sometimes just you have to be optimistic, you have, it's, it's, it's one way to stay sane, um, but so wh one thing that kind of ir irritated me going into this was just all the hate this show is getting without people having seen it yet. And I feel like we should give things a try. You know, we should give things a chance. Uh, don't judge a book by its cover. All those, you know, bits of, you know, wisdom or, or whatever. Uh, I can't think of what I'm thinking. I didn't sleep very much last night. I apologize. I'm a little tired today. I'm a little grouchy. Um... So I, you know, I made a video a while back saying uh, that I was going to treat it like expensive fan fiction, and I kept my my expectations low, but I, I wanted to give it a chance. I wanted to be optimistic, and I went in to the first two episodes and was pleasantly surprised. I really enjoyed the first two episodes. I'm sure if I went back now, now that I've gotten so irritated and annoyed by Galadriel and Numenor and all these other, you know, ridiculous plot points that they've come up with. I'm sure I would find more things to nitpick and to not like. But going in with low expectations, going in with an open mind, those first two episodes, I thought, you know, they, they I, I didn't love Galadriel, but I really did enjoy, you know, Elrond and Durin and Disa. I, uh, I had high hopes for the, the storyline with Bronwyn and Arendir, uh, because I really enjoyed that orc scene. I thought it was, you know, it was really cool orc and it was kind of a scary scene and I thought you know then they were gonna leave and like go on an adventure and get chased by the orcs or something like they set it all up like there was this cool stuff gonna happen you know so I was excited about it um I love I still like the Harfoots but you know in the first two episodes they didn't reveal that they were leaving people behind and they were a little bit more uh likable before that um and i thought the stranger was an interesting and mysterious character you know introducing some mysteries in the beginning is fine the problem the problem with that is that they kept on introducing more mystery and more mystery and then some of the reveals about these these mysteries were not great like the mithril storyline was pretty weird this the, the sword hilt turned out to be a key and then the key just turns out to be something that can break a dam like it's like something I saw someone describe it as a Rube Goldberg machine, which is, you know, one of those elaborate, like, mousetrap style devices either used to, like, you know, to set off some, you know, you, you, you pull the lever and a ball rolls down and it hits another lever and that shoots a rocket up and the rocket catches something on fire and then that burns the fuse and blows up, you know, some crazy contraptions like that. Um, that's what this, this, what this key ends up being, right? And it just, in so many ways, this show just all the promise that I saw in the first two episodes, which other people I understand didn't see and, and focused more on the negatives. I just went in and focused more on the positives. I don't know. So it's when you, when you review a lot of stuff, like you get real used to disappointment, but you always want to keep an open mind because you never know something could really surprise you. Um, and you know, I've, I've had this happen before, like in fear the walking dead season three, I thought that was a great season really redeemed a lot of the mistakes in the first two seasons 
set it up as I thought better than The Walking Dead for that for that one brief season, and then in season four, some new showrunners took over, and the first couple of episodes I thought that they did were really good, um, introducing characters like John Dory, played by Garrett Dillahunt, and um, you know some. I just you know it looked like it was going in a good in a good direction, and so initially I wrote that season four was great, you know, and this was. You know, based on screeners I'd seen, but I'd only seen a couple episodes. But then as that season went on, it got more and more and more ridiculous and obnoxious and just in, insanely bad. Now, I don't regret liking the first couple episodes and saying as much. That's that's that you you can only work with the information you have. Uh, and then as new information presents itself, hopefully you can change your ideas. So. Uh, I don't know what to say. Like, I, I liked the first two episodes. I, I think partly it was an expectations thing because I, I went in thinking, okay, I don't know. I don't think Amazon will probably screw this up. But then, then I, I, I thought they, you know, the world was beautiful. The score was really beautiful. Uh, and, and there was just some fun stuff going on. And I thought this is a great first, you know, first premiere, like double episode, whatever. It's setting things up in a way that I think could be really fun, and I'm excited about it. See, and then episode three, you know, was, was the first time where I was like, well, hold on, like, there's some really cringy dialogue going on, and this this setup of Numenor is just not at all how I expected it would be. And just every episode since, four, five, six now, has gotten progressively worse and worse and worse. So, uh, I think that that's just, you know, that's what you're going to get if you subscribe to my channel or you read my reviews, or you watch my reviews on, on YouTube. Um, I, I will change my mind. Um, you know, honestly, if, if the next episode of Rings of Power is really good, I'll say so. If it's terrible, I'll say so. And it's my opinion. And it's, it is absolutely, you know, I have my own biases and my own way of looking at things and my own, uh, you know, influences and taste. And, and that, that's all part of everyone's, you know, composition, how they, how they view and how they consume entertainment and art and what works for me may not work for you and things that appeal to me or that, that jumped out and really appealed to me in the first, you know, opening couple episodes, like the Harfoots, a lot of people hate the Harfoots. I can't, I can't help that. I still like the Harfoots. I just think they've screwed up their storyline a bit with the leaving people behind crap. So, um, oh, and I, I also wanted to say like, Coming into this, there was a lot, I saw a lot of stuff online about just how horrible the diversity was. And I honestly think that remains the least problematic thing about this show. Like some of the best characters like Disa, you know, are, are black. And really the, the diversity thing I think was so prevalent at first and, I, and, and now that's kind of died off because there's all this other stuff to focus on. Um, so I think I was, I was definitely reacting a little bit to all of that because I just find that to be, I mean, I understand that they could probably handle diversity better uh, in, in a lot of different ways. I'm sure they could handle diversity better and there is a tokenistic quality to it. Um, but it's not, I think it's also one of, it's a pretty complicated and difficult issue. Um, and I just think I, you know, that's one of those things where I can just say whatever, like, I don't care that much, you know, the canon characters look pretty much how they're supposed to whatever it doesn't matter but i think that 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 did bring out some some of the wor worst qualities in the fandom um and I, I think now we're seeing kind of other aspects of the fandom like bad fandom stuff um it's unbelievable how angry people are that i don't like this show like just the number of people that are like viciously personally attacking me on social media for uh you know just like so upset that I don't like it. It's like, guys, it's my opinion. <laughs> you are allowed to have your opinion and I am allowed to have my opinion. That's the beautiful thing about a free country or, you know, open internet. Like we're all allowed to have opinions. I do this professionally. And so that's, you know, telling, you know, when people are like, why don't you just stop watching it if you don't like it? It's like, well, I'm a critic. Critics don't just stop watching things when they don't like them. Sometimes, sometimes you have to. I gave up with the CW DC shows completely because I just couldn't handle it anymore. Life's too short. But, you know, it's like telling a food critic, well, if you don't like it, don't eat here. It's like, well, that's the point of being a food critic. You go and you, you, you eat something and then you tell other people whether they should eat there or not. You know? So, anyways, uh, I changed... I, I, can't, I don't want to say. I changed my mind about things. I changed my mind about lots of different shows. 
I know I used to love Game of Thrones, and then it got worse. I think a lot of people would agree that it got worse. Uh, this show just happened to get worse much, much faster. And and uh, and I guess I just, you know, I guess my expectations were low enough that when I first watched those first couple episodes, I was just pleasantly surprised all around. So, anyways, uh, yeah. For those of you who have inquired, here's this video. Thanks for watching. Peace.